All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, that, that last video you just saw, that was uh, me in the co a championship game against Potato Head. It was a, definitely a nail-biter. Uh, this is a Super Bowl against YF for Season 3. Once again, I'm in the Super Bowl against YF. Uh, but we still got Mr. Softy. He's here on... What the fuck is that, bro? Yo, bro, what the fuck is that? It's probably somebody... I, I don't want to... No comment, sir. Uh-oh, okay, yeah. He's still, he's still on the street in Manhattan right now, and uh, he's, still, he's still with us. Uh, this is going to be the last video he's on for the day. Um, so, yo, what's on your mind, bro? I, I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna let you wing it. I'm gonna let you wing it. What you wanna talk about right now, bro? Go ahead. I really wanna get into the Jason Collins thing, man. Right, right now, man, I just read an article about Jason Collins. Hold, 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 hold up, you, 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 just, you just broke up because you on T-Mobile. For the viewers that don't know, you're on T-Mobile in New York, which makes no sense. But, um... Makes no sense whatsoever, man, uh, but I'm too cheap to cancel my contract. Okay, so pr pretty much, you you said you wanted to talk about Jason Collins, but you'll, you want to now you want to talk about Raymond Felton, who was just arrested for a gun possession charge. Yeah, no man, like, well, what's your, what's your, I mean, you didn't, you didn't touch that subject, so, I mean, what's your take on that, man? Yo, listen, my take on it is this. If, you, if you're in the NBA and you're making decent money, like... You're not a bench player. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? You're not a bench player. So if you're not a bench player, you have enough money to have other people get you a fucking gun license. That's what that's what my thing is, bro. You can't walk around and fucking not know the law in New York when you've been playing here for this long. That's my thing. But but Afro-American people choose to do the wrong thing and then they try to blame everybody else. Like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, bro, if Lil Wayne can go to jail for having a gun, yo, that motherfucker, but he got to do something. Yo, bro. He's definitely going to do something, bro. Yo, bro, listen. They don't play with these gun laws in New York. And like I said, it's very stupid because, like I said, my take on guns, if everybody had one, it's less likely for people to do dumb shit. So, bro, that's just what it is. Other than that, bro, I think he's a total dick. What do you think about him? Dude, I think he's a clown. A real clown, bro. I mean, like, I, from, what I, from what I understand, like, he wasn't even waving the gun. Like, his, 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 his girlfriend... Hand, um, turn the gun into the police station. Oh, shit. So he, See, he was threatening her with it previously or some shit like that. Okay. All right, bro. So now so now it's even worse because now if you need to pull your gun out on a female, bro, your pipe game ain't right. Exactly. Exactly. And that, that goes back to little me syndrome from the... Yo, we're tying everything into the previous episode. Yo, bro. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yo, bro. See, you see, you see how we work together, bro? We don't even know what we do, bro. That's synergy, bro. Listen, listen, listen. This is incredible, man. Okay, so look, so you're saying that Raymond Felton, player for the New York Knicks, has little meat? Gotta, gotta. Dude, I mean, I mean, he's going through a divorce, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to wish divorce on anybody, man. I'm sorry that he's going through that. But then, but then you argue with the, next, with, the, with the next chick, the girlfriend, to a point where you're pulling out the gun and you're waving it in her face? That can only mean one thing. She bumped into Mandingo. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? What? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, so you saying that you saying that she she bumped into Mandingo so she lost all respect for Raymond Felton. No, Ray, Ray, Raymond, you know what I'm saying? She tried to she tried to hide it from him. But but once Raymond got inside there and and that hole was bigger than a porter john. Like, oh, oh. It, uh, it, yeah, it was crazy. Oh, okay. Okay, so 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 this all goes back to cuz see that's what I'm saying like if you if you need to be that physical like I don't know what she was doing, but I don't think it's ever necessary for a man uh, 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 to 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 use that type of physical nature to threaten a female, unless unless for unless he's a pimp. No, uh, no, unless you know that some dude is tearing her out so good that she keeps flirting like she gotta go get a pack of cigarettes, and you know she don't smoke. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is, would that apply to a pimp? Because he don't care that she's getting torn out, bro. That's her job. He just want the money. I, I, absolutely, and that's the thing about it. Like I'm pretty sure as an NBA player, he's tearing out everything that moves. Yo, but, but you know he's gonna catch some, he feels some type of way. Because his side chick or his new chick is getting beat out by somebody else. Like, but that's the name of the game. That's the nature of the game. That ties back into the first, the first episode about the dude in the friendship zone. They okay. started out in the friendship zone, but he liked, he liked the way she did the sloppy. So he fell in love with her, divorced his wife, and then found out that, that she was, she was getting shack dick by somebody. Hold, hold on, but, oh, so that's what happened? She was, get, she was getting shack attacked in the pussy hole? Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it, bro. I'm talking about if anyone ever had a pair of shacks, I'm talking about they were they were hanging on that they were hanging on that pussy the same way shack the shack symbol look. Oh. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, bro. What I'm trying to figure out from you right now is this: Are you saying that little meats all it always comes back to little meat? Hold on, say that one more time, man. T-Mobile's messing up. 
<laughs> yo, listen. I'm asking you specifically. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, bro, you got you need another phone service, dog. It sound like it sound like somebody shaving a coconut right next to you, dog. Yo. <laughs> yo, bro, listen, look, man. Let me walk away from that. I don't know what the hell that is, man. I, I, listen, bro, look. The bottom line is this. Some type of ambulance. Are you are you say, are you saying that it always no matter what comes back to little me? It, it, well, the signs the signs never fail, bro. It's like it's like a math equation, you know. It's it's always gonna prove itself true. Okay, so pretty much what you so what do you suggest for a man with little me? Bro, I man, listen, buy buy a flashlight. Buy buy a what? A flashlight. A flashlight. Yeah. What the fuck is a flashlight? You can Google that. Don't worry about it. For, for the people that's listening and have internet access, yeah, Google that. Look at the image. That's what you need. A flashlight? Yes. What the fuck is... All right, and know that your flashlight won't cheat on you. Hold up, what the fuck? I don't even know what the fuck you... T are you saying flush like F-L-U-S-H? No, flesh, like skin. Okay, flashlight, F-L-E-S-H light. Okay, so the fleshlight you want the the viewers to Google fleshlight. I'm just saying if I mean if you if you got a little meat and you you worried about your girl cheating on you, the fleshlight will never cheat on you, and you don't have to take her to dinner. What the fuck? Oh, the fleshlight is a as a person. Well, you gotta Google it, man. I, I can't give you all the answers, sir. You don't oh. give me all the answers. Okay, all right. So pretty. Okay, so so that's that's a solution to having little meat is the fleshlight. Absolutely. All right. So d would it be fair to say that? Size doesn't matter? No, size always matters, brother. Size always matters. Okay, okay, so when a girl tells her husband or sex partner that size doesn't matter, is she lying? Well, maybe maybe if she was if if, if he was her first, then then you know, then that statement could be true. Because maybe she doesn't care about it like that. But if she's experienced, no, she's gonna say no. Alright, so <laughs> just better hope she don't go to Vegas. All right, so what you're what you're basically saying is that there is no solution for small meat. I mean, they, they, I think they have operations and shit like that. Like, but I, I don't know, brother. Okay, so you're saying that that see the people the people on my team are are, are, um, are proven 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 track records. Uh, okay, bro, but that's what I'm saying. So, so I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. So it's just all over. When you say all over, what do you mean? Like, all they're going to do, like, what do they do? They just fuck and just know that their woman's going to go cheat? Like, I don't understand. Well, I mean, if that's the case, I mean, if you got the, if you got the little meat, then you, you got to do what you got to do. I, I hope you got a long tongue, I guess. Okay, so, so, but, but how far can that take you? I don't, I, bro, well, I've never been in that scenario. I couldn't tell you whatsoever. I mean, maybe you have some insight that you can share. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so that's, uh, bro, I have absolutely no insight to that situation. That's why I have you on the call, bro. I'm a, yo, bro. So you have never. So do you have any friends with little meat that goes through this? No, no, not not whatsoever. I mean, like I find out something like that. I mean, how can I really hang with you? Hold, I mean, we can't. We can't never really go hang out, and then something crazy happen because you know what I'm saying. We all end up in the same hotel room with a with a with a, with a mob of chicks. I already know what's gonna happen, bro. Well, actually, I probably would like that because they would all gravitate towards the kid. Okay, so so what you're saying is that you can't even. You're a real douchebag. You're saying that you can't even, you wouldn't even have a friend with small meat. How, how can you, man? How can you, how, how can he represent the team? I, I, you tell a chick I'm calling my homeboy? Like, like, I mean, I know you're a married man. Listen, I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. Like, but if we, if we were, if we were, if we were like hang out buddies, bro, we hanging out every weekend and, and you weren't married and I, and I had a bunch of girlfriends that were like, yo, you know, yo, yo, my friends want to do something. Call one of your friends. And I call you, like, could you imagine, bro, like, how how, how chick would feel if, if, if you was, um, resting down? Okay, <laughs> okay, so, listen, what I'm saying, okay, so, but what, but isn't it, isn't it always bros over hoes? I, I agree, I agree with you, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, not my homie or nothing like that, but I'm saying, like, it could be the first person I call. Alright, uh, uh, <laughs> yo, yo, this guy, yo, you, yo, alright. You know what I'm saying, like, like, how's she gonna say, yo, we had a good time? They're gonna be like, yo, don't call your friend back. But they're gonna be mad at me, like, yo, like, why would you bring him out there? 
You knew what was going on. You knew he was gonna make the comments so far. Okay, okay, so alright, so 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 pretty uh, yo, bro, I don't know. Yo, bro, who the fuck is making whatever they're making next to you, bro? Yo, listen, bro. All right, so so pretty much that's what it is then. You, you're just you're just saying blatantly. You're just saying blatantly that. Listen, if you got a little if you got a little meat, the tongue is your the tongue is your other option, and then still in all, your girl might fuck other dudes. Oh, well, nah, if your tongue game is right, I'm pretty sure because like like I I, I mean if chicks are willing to go lesbian, obviously that the, you know what I'm saying that 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 tongue holds some merit. You know what you're doing. Yeah, but they also get strap-ons, so that doesn't make any sense. Ah, right, well, I guess I guess these little meat dudes got other options. You just you just introduce another option. Oh, so you want men to wear strap-ons? I'm just saying. I'm I'm, I'm just saying if if if, if they if they're in quest of a bigger meat, you ask me what can they do? I'm just giving you options. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Me, me personally, I you know I, you know if I don't know the person, I'd probably be like, yo, bro, ain't nothing wrong with that. Because I know that if I bump into the girl on a, on any given Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I know what she doing. She want to do. Oh, so so now you're trying to fuck your homies, girls? Nah, nah, never my homies, bro. If I shake your hand, bro, that's one thing you ain't got to worry about. Okay, so all right, all right, bro. I, yo, Mr. Softy, bro, listen. Right, don't, I, don't, 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 don't confuse a, a handshake with a fist bump. Oh. <laughs> all right, look, bro. We got 20 seconds left of the video. I'm gonna let you go ahead and say what you gotta say. Go ahead and close this out. Say what you gotta say, baby. Man, listen. I've always G, happy to be on the show, man. Everything is always great. You know, I'm happy that the listeners, you know, um, support the, the softy uh, movement. And, um, man, listen, man, if, 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 if the meat is little, move over. I got it. One love.